I just found this quaint equation on the internet. x to the power of 5 plus 10 times x to the power of 3 plus 20x minus 4 equals 0. So the solution I also found on the internet says we should let x equal to a minus 2 over a. I don't know the motivation behind it, but it turns out to be very useful. So that in that case, x to the power of 5 is a minus 2 over a quantity to the power of 5. That is just binomial expansion. So first term, a to the power of 5, plus 5 choose 1 times a to the power of 4 times this term, so we have a minus 2 over a, right? plus 5 choose 2 times a to the power of 3 times this uh, a to the power of 2, that's 4 times a to the power of 2. And next we have a minus again. 5 choose 3. a to the power of 2. That guy to the power of 3. a to the power of 8 over a. That's a to the power of 3. Yes. So next must be plus. 5 choose 4. a times that guy raised to the power of 4. That's 16 over a to the fourth. And last we have. Last we have. So this guy to minus. Minus. Uh, 32 over a to the fifth. The last term. So that is a to the power of 5. What is that? It's minus uh, 10 times a cube. Right? So what is this? <clears throat> that is uh, 5 choose 2, 40, 20, 20, 10, 20, 40 times a. Right? Minus, again, that's 4. 5 choose 2. 5 choose 2 is 10. 10 times a, 80, 80 over a. A plus. Plus 5 choose 4, that's 5. So it's 80, 80 over a cube uh, minus 32 over a to the fifth. Right? So that means 10 times x to the power of 3 is 10 times a minus 2 over a to the power of 3. That is 10 times the <coughs> first term, a to the power of 3, plus uh, 3 choose 1. 3 times a to the power of 2 times minus, or minus 2 over a, plus also 3 choose 2, 3 times a to the this guy to the power of 2, 4 over a squared. Last, we have minus 8 over a cube quantity. Again, that's just 10 times a cube. We have minus, uh, minus 60 times a. 12, we have plus 120. Uh, 120 over a, in fact. Over minus minus eighty over a cube. Right, so next we have twenty x. Twenty x. That's twenty times a minus two over a. That's just twenty a minus forty over a. We have minus four. Right. Don't forget this. So. Essentially comparing so this and that and also this minus four. Right? So we uh, if we add them all up, we still have a to the power of five. So the this term, right, cube term, uh, we have minus ten. 
we have plus 10. Right, they just cancel out. We have a term. We have plus 40. We have what? Minus 60. We have plus 20. Right, they just cancel out. Also have this term, right? So minus 80 plus 120 uh, minus 40. Sorry, so they just, just cancel out. Also, this term, right, a to the power of 3 on the bottom, so plus 80, we have uh, minus 80, right? We have no more, so. Also, we have this term. Also, this term, right? So, minus uh, 32 over a to the power of 5 minus 4 equals 0. We just multiply both sides by a to the power of 5. A to the power of 5 to the power of 2 minus 32 minus 4 times a to the power of 5 equals 0. Right? Now we can just say the coefficients 1 times 1 minus 32, that's just minus 8 times 4. Right, what is that? So minus 8 times 1, minus 8, 4 times 1, 4, right? Minus 8 plus 4, that's minus 4, yes. So 8 to the power of 5, minus 8 times 8 to the power of 5, plus 4, equals 0. Right? So which tells us that 8 to the power of 5 must be equal to either 8 or negative 4. Which tells us that A must be equal to the... Uh, fifth root of 8 or the fifth root of minus 4. Right? Uh, so that tells us x must be uh, is it replace a with right, so x must be the fifth root of 8 minus 2 over the fifth root of 8. But because, because 2 can be written as the fifth root of 32, because 2 to the power of 5 is 32, right? So then we can just combine the roots. Right? So fifth root of just 4. Right? But this, this is just the fifth root. 4 times 2. I right? can distribute the roots. So the fifth power of 4 times the fifth root of 2 minus the fifth root of 4. Right? That is just fifth root of 4. Extract it out. The fifth root of 2 minus 1. Right? Or, or x is equal to the fifth root of minus 4 minus 2 over the fifth root of minus 4. Like I said, same strategy, right? Uh, the fifth root of minus 4 minus, like I said, 2 is the fifth root of 32, right? So combine the roots. So in fact, the fifth root of just uh, 32 over minus 4, that's um, minus 8. Right, yeah, minus 8. So again, minus 8 is in fact minus 4 times 2, right? So the uh, fifth root of minus 4 times the fifth root of 2, right? Distribute the power. Again, that is just the fifth root of minus 4 times the 1 minus the fifth root of 2. Yeah. Then we can just distribute this negative sign. Right, because it's the odd root. So negative is still negative, but distribute the negative onto this bracket, right? That is to just switch those two numbers. Right? So it becomes this number minus 1. 
So the same thing, the same route turns out to be, right? Not, not surprising because if we calculate the, so derivative, right? Let's just say f prime is equal to five times x to the power of four plus 30 times x squared plus 20. So, always positive, right? Always positive. As long as x is real value, right? So always positive. So, meaning the function is monotonically increasing. Right? Monotonically increasing. So, but the problem is, can it have some real root? Yes. We've just, also from the graph, because when x is approaching positive infinity, the function, the polynomial, also approaches positive infinity. Right? That's because the leading term is a, uh, has a coefficient of positive, a positive coefficient. Obviously, the other terms can be just ignored. It right? just grows to positive infinity. Also grows to negative infinity when x grows to negative infinity. So overall, it looks like this, right? Monotonically increasing. And also, the continuous function, the intermediate value theorem, right? there has to be a zero. Right? So here is x. Positive. Is it positive? Yes, it's positive. Positive solution.